Hello there everyone and welcome back or welcome to my channel. This is the weekend love readings with me, Miss Machiste. We are going to be looking into each zodiac signs weekend love energies for this weekend of May 28th, 29th, and 30th. Please do keep in mind that time is fluid and each zodiac sign has their own reading in this video. In the description box below, you will find the timestamps. I will also pin a comment in the comment section with the timestamps as well. Please do not forget to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If you're new here, welcome. Please do not forget to subscribe. And if you are a returning supporter, welcome back in. And thank you so very much for being here and for watching. I truly appreciate each and every one of my beautiful subscribers out there. Please do not forget to like this video. It really helps my channel grow. So let's get into it and let's get started. We are going in zodiac order and we are starting off with my beautiful Aries. So hello Aries and welcome to your... Weekend love reading for this weekend spirit for Aries for this weekend of May 28th to May 30th. Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign spirit for Aries. Aries, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. For some of you, this reading could be resonating backwards. So please assign the reading as you wish. So here we go, Aries. So Aries, you have playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. All right, bringing out that childlike playful energy this weekend. Possibly somebody bringing that out within you, Aries, or you're bringing that out within someone else. Possibly could be very mutual. So let's see here, spirit for Aries for this weekend. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs in their love lives. For my beautiful Aries, for this weekend, what's coming towards Aries? All right, Aries, we have Strength. We have the Knight of Cups. And we have the Queen of Swords. All right, Aries, so it looks like you are very controlled right now with this Strength energy coming through. Really focusing on regaining your willpower, your strength, your almost regaining your energy as well. So for a lot of you Aries, you could have been going through a lot in life or just in love as well. But with this Knight of Cups here, it looks like somebody is interested in pursuing you. And it looks like somebody is, I almost feel like somebody is wanting to pursue you a lot more than they are right now, Aries. Definitely could be dealing with a Leo, a Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, or a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So it looks like, Aries, if you have been pulled back, I feel like it's been causing this person to also be pulled back a bit. They may be mirroring your energy. But I do feel like this person is not going to be able to really control themselves towards you anymore, any longer. Knight of Cups, they have feelings for you and they can't help but want to express these feelings. But with the Queen of Swords here, it's almost interesting. Whoever you're dealing with, they have feelings for you here, Aries. Your person is definitely feeling something towards you. Or this person is definitely feeling some sort of emotions towards you. But the way that they articulate the emotions is very logical, very analytical, and very... I want to say unemotional. So it's kind of a bit contradicting. They have feelings for you, but yet the way they express them is a little bit on the logical standpoint of things. Not too very deep down. But I do feel like Aries, whoever has been kind of controlling themselves from you, not really wanting to open up too much towards you in the love aspect and the emotional aspect of things, I feel like they're going to have no choice now this weekend to pursue you outwardly, show you a lot more attention, and really speak what they want to say. Because I do feel like for some of you Aries, this person has been wanting to express to you their feelings for quite some time. But they have been controlling themselves. And they will be expressing this weekend. I do feel like for others of you, Aries, if you are single, you definitely could be meeting a new person this weekend. I feel like you're going to feel really good with them. You're going to feel very playful. You're going to feel that connection. 
But I feel like you both are still going to come from a logical standpoint at first because neither of you want to really be naive and dive deep into emotions too early on or too quickly. So for Aries who is connecting with someone, past, present, current, whomever, they are a lot interested in you than they show. This weekend they're going to show some more interest here. But like I said, it's going to come in more logical opposed to drowning you in emotion. And for single Aries, I definitely feel like somebody is going to try to pursue you this weekend. They may try to make things fun for you both. I feel like you're going to possibly try to make a decision on what you want to do with this person. For some of you, you may just be like, this is fun. I'm having a good time. But that's what I got here for you, Aries. Definitely somebody openly pursuing you a lot more this weekend. So thank you, Aries, for being here and for watching. Next we have up is my beautiful Taurus. Hello, Taurus. Let's get a, a romance angel for you for this weekend for Taurus. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Taurus. Sun, moon, rising, Venus for this weekend in love. All right, Taurus, we have free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. All right. So for some of you, Taurus, this could be freeing yourself from an actual person. This could also be freeing yourself from your past or freeing yourself from a mindset or belief system, overthinking thoughts that are just no longer serving you, no longer serving the connection you're in. So let's see what the tarot has here for you, Taurus. For some of you, you may be feeling very um, tied to someone. So, Spirit for Taurus and Moon Rising Venus signs for this weekend and their love lives. Here we go. All right, Taurus, you have the Ace of Cups, you have the Ace of Wands, and you have the Emperor. Okay. So, Taurus, it's time you do things your way. It looks like you have, for single Taurus, it looks like you have two options here. And you may be very in your head about who to choose or which way to go. It may be causing you to have some sort of mental fog. But Taurus, you are attracting a lot of energy this weekend. I feel like for single Taurus, you're attracting more than one person for sure. For my Taurus who are, in, who are in relationships, it definitely looks like whoever you're connecting with is very interested in starting over here with you. Very interested in starting over in terms of emotion. Very interested in starting over in terms of passion and re-sparking the spark in this connection. So I do feel like for a lot of you Taurus, if you are not meeting somebody new this weekend, which is this is a beautiful combination for new love, then... Your person may be in a position of really wanting to start fully over with you this weekend. Could be a past person, could be your current person, whomever. And with this free yourself card coming through, for some of you Taurus, I do feel like you may make the decision to see what else is out there. To say, you know what, I'm not going to let you control me anymore. I'm going to control my life and I'm going to... Free myself from this situation and look for newer, better energy that I don't have to feel is controlling me. And for others of you, Taurus, I definitely do feel like you have two people coming your way. I do feel that way. Let's see. We have the Tower. We have the King of Cups. We have the Three of Pentacles. Scorpio energy coming through very strongly here. We have Water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have Fire, Aries, Leo, Sag, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But Taurus, I definitely do feel like with this tower coming through on this Ace of Cups, you're going to be very shocked by this person, very shocked by your person or this person being open towards you now. 
They're really trying to be mature here. They're really trying to work together with you here. Three of Pentacles, compromise with you, and really sit in a position of being on the same page with one another. And for others of you, Taurus, if you are single, this new love may come out of nowhere. And I definitely feel like you have another person that loves you as well. Especially with the Emperor to the Three of Pentacles. Could definitely be that there is three people here that is in a position of wanting you, wanting to fight for you, and wanting to be with you. But it definitely looks like somebody is going to express something to you this weekend that's going to shock you here. Could be your person expressing more love towards you. Could be a past person shocking you with love. Or you just thought you would never find new love and here it is. So free yourself from your thoughts, from your past, and possibly from a person that is maybe controlling you. So, because new love is available to you if you want it, Taurus. So thank you, Taurus, for being here and for watching. And I'll talk to all of my beautiful Taurus very, very soon. And next up is we have Gemini. Hello, Gemini. All right, Gemini, happy birthday to all of my Gemini sons out there. Wishing you a happy, blessed, and abundant birthday season with many, many years to come. We're going to be getting a Romance Angel card for you, Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And their love lives for Gemini. Gemini, I have a Tarot After Dark reading going out for you tonight. So... Head to my channel and find that reading so you can be on top of when it releases tonight, depending on when you watch this video. So here we go, Gemini, for this weekend. All right, Gemini, so you have give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. All right, so putting effort and energy into this connection really working together really giving the relationship a chance finding hope so let's see what this is all about gemini let's get a tarot for you for gemini sun moon rising venus signs i don't take flyers spirit for gemini sun moon rising venus and their love lives for this weekend All right, Gemini, we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, and the Knight of Wands. All right, so Gemini, I definitely do feel like there has been some sort of tough cycle for my Geminis in relationships, in connecting with somebody, whatever the case may be. I definitely feel like there has been a lot of tough moments here with this Ten of Swords coming through. Single Geminis, you've just been dealing with a lot of tough times. For my single Geminis, it does look like you have been very focused on yourself, very focused on your money, very focused on your pentacle, and you're really not paying attention to the endings, to the betrayals, to the things that you have been through in your past. You're kind of really focused on yourself. And because of you doing that, it does look like somebody is going to show interest in you here. Knight of Wands, this could be a new person, but for some of you Geminis, this could be a past fire sign who is not over you Still, whether they ended things with you or not, they are not over you. You may have ended things with them. Whatever the case may be, single Geminis, I definitely see somebody interested in pursuing you this weekend. And for some of you, this is a past person. For others of you, you have been through all of these endings. You have really prevailed and spirit is bringing you an energy that is going to help you work on yourself as well as work on growing with them. Knight of Wands can just indicate, Gemini, of you being action-oriented, getting yourself out there and seeing what is out there and possibly meeting this person. Knight of Wands doesn't always have to be a player. For some of you Geminis, this could definitely be that player energy from the past who ended things with you. So that's your single Geminis. They're definitely going to try to work on the connection, whether it's a new or a past person. For my Geminis in relationships, there's been hard moments, but things are going to be getting a little bit better here. I feel like this weekend you're going to start seeing things getting better. It's not going to be a total eclipse where things are just magically better. No. Um, the Queen of Pentacles here definitely could be dealing with the Taurus Virgo Capricorn. So, Gemini, you are definitely connecting with somebody who is very stable, who very much wants commitment with you, or is very interested in having comfortable energy with you. 
feeling like you two have a solid foundation with one another. And with this Knight of Wands here as well, this could be um, you and your person exploring things, traveling, doing things together, going places together, or actually giving your relationship a chance by being more passionate with one another after those hard moments. So that's what I got here for you, Gemini. Definitely could be dealing with a Leo, an Aries, or a Sagittarius. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra here as well. So that's what I got for you, Gemini. Somebody is definitely going to want to work on the connection that they sh they share with you. Or somebody is going to try to spark it or re-spark the connection. So thank you for being here, Gemini, and happy birthday once again. And next up is we have my beautiful Cancers. Hello, Cancer. Spirit for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. For this weekend and their love lives for May 28th to May 30th for Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for Cancer. All right, Cancer, you have stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. All right, so Cancer, it's time to go from pessimistic to optimistic. So if you have been feeling down, if you have been, just been finding a bunch of things that are wrong in your relationship or a bunch of things that are wrong in your love life, it's time to look at the glass half full opposed to half empty. So here we go, Cancer. Let's get your tarot and see what's going on here. For Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this weekend in love. All right, so we have the Page of Cups, we have the Ace of Pentacles, and we have the Eight of Wands. All right, so it definitely looks like somebody is opening up here to you this weekend. You do have an offer here, Ace of Pentacles, Page of Cups. This could be an apology. This could be a new person as well. Water sign energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and we have an Ace of Pentacles. So an offer to do something, an offer to grow the connection and strengthen the bond that you share. So for a lot of you Cancers, definitely maybe getting asked out on a date this weekend, asked out to do something, or your person is just interested in getting closer, building this connection, growing this connection, and possibly some of you could even be Making it official, boyfriend, girlfriend, even an engagement. I don't really feel an engagement with this Page of Cups, for sure. But it could be a start to seeing more stability in this connection. Eight of Wands here, a lot of conversation, a lot of communication with this person. Eight of Wands can also indicate intimacy as well. So definitely getting closer to someone this weekend or feeling closer to someone this weekend, for sure. I feel like you are going to be feeling a lot more successful with your love life. So whatever's happening here, you're going to feel good about. It's going to make you feel good. With the Page of Cups here, though, this is an interesting energy of it could be a missed opportunity if you don't take it right at that moment. So that's where I'm a little bit thrown off here of this being a solid offer that gets somewhere. Because the Page of Cups energy is a little bit, all right, yeah, Seven of Swords. Six of Wands, the Moon. Yeah, there's something with this Page of Cups. Either Cancer, you know who this person is and you have trouble trusting them. Seven of Swords, yet you let them in anyways because you like their attention. You like feeling seen by them. You like feeling good by them. The Moon here definitely could be a Pisces, but... If you are getting an apology from someone, and you know, it could even be you meeting somebody new. It's like you don't trust it. It's like you either know what this person is about, so you're kind of like fearful that they're deceptive, or you just don't trust your love life because of whatever made you feel negative. That's why positive thinking is here. So for some of you Cancers, you kind of just have to bite the bullet do what you want to do, do what's going to make you happy without really clouding your mind with constant fears of what this person will do or what this person is doing. 
Just do what makes you happy, Cancer. And in the end, you will feel rewarded. So, nonetheless, somebody's coming towards you, whether it's an apology or a new person. They're coming with some sort of offer. And they're coming with conversation and communication. Could be a Pisces. Could be a air sign. Could be, could be anybody, honestly. The only strong sign here I have is Pisces. The moon could also represent Cancer as well. So, and we also have strong fire, Aries, Leo, Sag, but you have an offer coming this weekend. Whether you trust it or not, it's just going to be what all of my Cancers come up with. So, thank you, Cancer, for being here and for watching. And I'll talk to all of y'all very soon. Sorry for shaking this. All right, and next up is we have Leo. Hello, my beautiful Leos. Let's get a romance angel for Leo for this weekend spirit for Leo in their love lives for this weekend. For Leo, sun, moon, rising, Venus. All right, Leo. So we have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. All right, Leo. For some of you, if you are in relationships or if you're cross-watching for your Leo who is in who you are in a relationship with, do not let this card scare you. Reconciliation does not always have to be with a past person. For most of you, yes. But for some of you Leos in relationships, if things have been rocky, if things have been off, if things have been imbalanced, you could just be reconciling with this person. And a much more happier, uplifted energy. So it doesn't always have to be a past person. But for a lot of you, yes, it is. But for my relationship, Leos, don't get scared. So here we go, Leo. Let's see what's coming through for you. We have justice. We have death. And we have the ten of wands. All right, so there definitely was some sort of change or some sort of ending here with this person. And with justice coming through, it looks like they are coming back around because they want to make things right. They want things to be fair. They want things to be balanced. And they want to right their wrongs here, Leo. For a lot of you Leos, this absolutely is a past person with death here and the Ten of Wands. A past person who ended things with you. A past person who maybe even burdened you. They may have made you feel like really burdened, like you have a lot going on. You have a lot to take care of with this person. So for my Leos who are in relationships, uh, I definitely do feel like the connection could have been a bit burdensome. With all of the conflict, all of the challenge, all of the drama, possible insecurities, whatever the case may be. But now your person is interested in making things right and being happy with you, being fair, being balanced, and really having that true equal give and take where not one person is giving more than the other. So, Leo, either somebody is coming back around from your past to make things right or your person is coming to the realization that they treated you in a way that they possibly shouldn't have treated you or put too much burden on you when they shouldn't have and now they want to make things better they want to make things right so could be dealing with a libra could be dealing with a scorpio could be dealing with a leo airy sagittarius and for some of you leos as well somebody could just be coming back around for closure Ten of Wands gives me that closure energy of finally putting down the burden of the past. Finally putting down the burden of the ending. So, that's what I got. There you go, Leo. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And I'll talk to all of y'all very soon. And next up is my beautiful Virgos. Hello, Virgo. Let's get a romance angel for you, Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for Virgos. Love lives for this weekend. All right, here we go, Virgo. Virgo, you have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So there could be some travel involved between you and your person. Possibly there's distance between the two of you. Could be in a long-distance relationship. 
Possibly there's moving or traveling or whatever the case may be. Let's get the tarot on this here for you, Virgo. You could be transitioning with your person into a lot calmer waters. There could have been a lot of conflict and a lot of challenge. And you're finally having a happy moment with them this weekend. So let's see what the tarot has for you, Virgo. All right, Virgo, we have the Three of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Wands and we have the Ace of Wands. Yeah, definitely being more happy with one another. Three of Pentacles, you and your person working on a team, really being compromising, really being in tune with one another, not really challenging one another as well. So for my Virgos in relationships, I definitely feel like there is a re-spark here in this connection. Knight of Wands definitely feeling a very passionate towards one another with this Ace of Wands as well. Definitely going to be getting a solid, I'm sorry, a passionate offer from your person. They may be giving you some sort of idea, maybe giving you an idea of where you two can travel to or what you two can do together. For some of you Virgos as well, you could be having somebody interested in you, very attracted towards you at work. And they may be showing that this weekend or they may be hinting towards it soon. And for others, others of you Virgos, if you are single, 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 I do feel like this could be a past person returning back into your energy, wanting to work things out with you, wanting to re-spark this connection because they are still interested in you. They still feel passionate towards you and it's almost like they still have the hots for you. So I do feel like for some of you Virgos, it could be a past person reaching out to you. Ace of Wands, Knight of Wands, definitely they could be reaching out to you on the internet. Maybe this is even a past person you worked with. For others of you Virgos, this is definitely somebody you work with interested in you, for sure. Maybe you two live in a diff live. Maybe you two work in a different office of one another or something like that, but there's interest here. And for others of you Virgos in relationships, definitely just being more passionate with your person, possibly coming up with an idea to travel, like I said, or just an idea of how you two can work together better, be happier with one another, and get things done. Maybe you two are coming up with an idea of how to join finances as well. So we have, oh, sorry, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, and Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It doesn't have to be. That's just the energy. So thank you, Virgo. And next up is we have Libras. Hello, Libra. Let's get a romance angel for you, Libra, for this weekend in your love life. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, Libra. So you have codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. All right, so this is a very broad card. This could be codependency, addictions towards drinking, smoking, going out with friends, whatever the case may be. For others of you, this codependency could be that you have on to your actual person, where you feel very attached towards them, where they may be feeling very attached towards you in an almost unhealthy way. So let's see what the tarot has here for you, Libra. Fear for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs in their love lives for Libra. We have the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Hermit, and we have the Ten of Cups. Okay, so this is the issue here. For some of you Libras, you're dealing with a very sporadic person. One moment you think you're going to have it all with them. One moment you think they're offering you stability and they want a relationship. And then the next moment they go hermit and you don't know what they're doing, where they are, or what they want from this connection. So for some of you Libras, you are connecting with somebody like that who comes with a grand gesture and then leaves like they didn't even offer anything. And that could be creating some sort of codependent energy between the two of you where you are very dependent or... Possibly you're doing this to somebody, but I'm going to read it in the way for Libra. Possibly feeling very dependent on when this person is going to act right again. So, your advice there, Libra, if that's your message, is to work on yourself. Focus on you. You see this person in this card, she kind of looks like the Empress. 
you're above that. You're above this sporadic, erratic, all over the place energy. This person wants you. But they don't know how to navigate that. So that's why they're in and out all over the place. What you can do to change their position, to change the path that they go down, is to sit on your throne. To realize that you are above this. You are above that. This is beneath you. That Whatever this person is doing is beneath you. You're not that. You are better than that. For others of you Libras, I definitely feel like there could be an absolute energy around drinking. Somebody may drink a lot. Somebody may go out a lot and that may be delaying the relationship to grow, but they're interested. Definitely could be dealing with a Virgo here, a Taurus, a Capricorn, could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It doesn't have to be. It's just the energy. For others of you Libras, I definitely do feel like you are still in a healing process from love, from past experiences. And I do feel like Spirit is saying for you to detach from your past. Detach from almost feeling codependent to your past, like this is going to continuously repeat itself. Come out of the shadows and realize that this Ten of Cups is available for you if you believe it is. So... For my Libras in connections or whatever, you're definitely dealing with somebody who's a little bit all over the place. For others of my Libras in connections, I do feel like you could be dealing with somebody who is going through a healing process. They could be, maybe they had COVID, maybe they have some other sort of problem or injury or illness, whatever the case may be. And you may be very codependent on this person's healing and it may be causing problems for you within. So you could be dealing with somebody who is on a healing process, who is trying to heal a certain part of themselves, whether physical, mental, or emotional. And it may be actually causing you to feel impatient with this person because of how long they're taking or the process of their healing journey. But they want you here. So single Libras, love is available for you if you want it. If you don't want it, then you can continue your journey of healing. And for my Libras who are in relationships, either with a very sporadic person or somebody who is going through a healing process, they want you. It shows. Try to detach from the waiting of it or just try to detach from whatever you have been holding on to. So thank you, Libra, for being here and for watching. And I'll talk to all of y'all very soon. And next up is we have my beautiful Scorpios. Hello, Scorpio. And let's get a romance angel for you, Scorpio, for this weekend in your love life spirit for Scorpio for this weekend. All right, Scorpio, you have, you deserve love. You are lovable. All right, so spirit telling you that you are deserving of love. You are not hard to love. You are a lovable person. So let's see what the tarot has here for you, Scorpio. Spirit for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for this weekend in their love lives for Scorpio. And we have the Two of Cups. We have the Knight of Wands. And we have the Knight of Cups. All right, Scorpio. So... I definitely feel like you are feeling really good this weekend. You deserve love and Spirit is going to show you that this weekend. Two of Cups definitely coming together with a soulmate connection. Could be a water sign like you. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Doesn't have to be. It's just the energy. I feel like you and this person are very attracted to, towards one another. Knight of Wands, Knight of Cups. I feel like you both are... Feeling very youthful with one another. Sorry, this train is loud. I swear they like turn up the volume on some trains. 
All right, well, nonetheless, Scorpio, somebody is very interested in you. I feel like you're interested in this person as well. Cupid's arrow has definitely hit you both. Knight of Wands, Knight of Cups, definitely feeling the chemistry, the attraction, feeling the spiritual connection as well. So, Scorpio, it looks like spirit is going to prove to you this weekend why you deserve love. So, I definitely feel like for my single Scorpios, you could be meeting a new soulmate connection. Get yourself out there if you want to meet them. Especially with this Knight of Wands, get yourself out there. For others of you Scorpios, your person may be feeling very more passionate towards you this weekend. A lot more loving, a lot more in tune with one another, and really just feeling on a good level, on a healthy level. And for my Scorpios who are in separation, you two may be coming back together this weekend. Maybe coming back into reconnect this weekend. I do feel like this connection still has more growing to do. If you are in separation, they're not just going to come back and it's going to be like, let's be together. I feel like there's going to be more growing from it. But the initiation will at least happen. So... It looks good. I feel like for some of you Scorpios, single Scorpios, you could have two options. But I feel like you know who you really feel connected to. So, nonetheless, Scorpio, connecting with a soulmate this weekend, whether the one you've been connecting to or a new one or a past one, nonetheless, you're definitely going to feel in tune with this person and you're going to feel like you're really coming together with somebody on a good way or in a good way so that's what i have here for you scorpio thank you for being here and thank you for watching and i'll talk to all of y'all very soon and next up is sagittarius hello my beautiful sagittarius let's see what romance angel is coming through for you all right here we go sag you have playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Aries also got this card. You could be dealing with an Aries. It doesn't have to be. Just letting you know they got it as well. So playfulness, recapturing romance with your person, possibly re-sparking something with someone or sparking something new. So let's see, Sagittarius. Feeling childlike with someone. Feeling very youthful. Feeling very happy. Nine of Pentacles. Feeling very good. Ten of Cups. Feeling really good. And the moon. All right. There's some Pisces energy coming through. So I feel like you don't see this. I don't see you seeing this energy coming with the moon. I feel like for a lot of my Sagittarius, you're kind of just going down a path. And you're just kind of like, I hope this is the right path. And it looks like Spirit is going to show you this weekend that it is the right path. Whatever you've been doing, Sagittarius, keep doing it. You are reaching for that Empress energy. You are feeling valued. You are feeling abundant. You are feeling like you are growing. You are expanding. Really Sagittarius with this. And I really feel like my Sagittarius this weekend, you're really going to attract a lot of energies your way. So, single Sagittarius, definitely get ready for a lot of people wanting your energy. For others of you Sagittarius, if you are in a relationship, Ten of Cups, it definitely looks like your person is going to be making you very happy this weekend. Possibly even giving you a reward or a gift or something like that. Because this is an energy of something that you don't see coming. So I do feel like for a lot of you Sagittarius in relationships, I feel like your person is really going to bring you this extreme happiness this weekend whether they are just really valuing you this weekend in a new way possibly they're being very youthful very playful with you and you like that or for others of you Sagittarius if you are in connection uh, in connection if you are in separation I almost feel like for some of you Sagittarius in separation, I feel like you're going to come to the realization this weekend that you're happy without this person. And it's almost like once that happens, they want to come back in. But it looks like this weekend is the realization first that you are happy without this person that you're separated from. And you may have not thought that that was possible. But this weekend you're going to be like, wait a minute. I'm actually a lot more happy than I thought I was without this person. 
And when you do that, this person may want to recapture the romance because they feel your energy drifting away, being more independent and being happier with yourself. So nonetheless, Sagittarius, you're definitely magnifying people towards you this weekend. And either your person is just going to come out of nowhere just with a lot more energy and you're kind of just like, whoa, where does all this come from? Or you just have a plethora of people wanting into your energy. I kind of get that somebody's getting gifted something. So I don't know why or what or who or when, but I do feel like for some of you, Sag, sorry about that. For some of you, Sagittarius, you may be getting a gift. But what I have here is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. The moon would be Pisces. So that's what I have here for you, Sagittarius. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And I'll talk to all of y'all very soon. Oh my gosh, I keep moving this. I'm so sorry, y'all. At least it doesn't like really fall over. Okay, so here we go. Next we have it is Capricorn. Hello, my beautiful Capricorns, and welcome to your weekend love reading. Let's get a romance angel for you, Capricorn, for this weekend. For my beautiful Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for this weekend in their love lives. All right, Capricorn, so you have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. All right, so having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation here this weekend could be with anybody. Could be a past, could be your current, could be a newer energy. Let's see. Spirit for Capricorn for this weekend, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For Capricorn for this weekend, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. All right, Capricorn, we have the High Priestess. We have the Four of Wands, and we have the Chariot. All right, you definitely could be dealing with a Pisces, a Cancer, a Virgo. But the High Priestess is here, so you definitely could be dealing with somebody who is a bit withdrawn, if this is not you. But it looks like whoever has been withdrawn is coming out of that energy this weekend. So for my Capricorns in relationships with this Four of Wands, if you have been dealing with somebody who's been a little bit hard to read, a little bit withdrawn, I definitely feel like this person is going to be a lot more outward towards you. The Chariot making more moves towards you, definitely being more open and more stable with you, possibly even initiating a conversation. Or maybe they're going to travel towards you, get together with you, and you two are going to discuss your feelings towards one another, possibly your feelings towards this connection and being with one another. For others of you, I feel like Capricorn, you may be the withdrawn energy. And it looks like somebody, if you, even if you are withdrawn, this person, it's kind of like they don't care. They still feel like you two can have movement forward. They still feel like you two can really make this connection work. So if you are withdrawn right now, Capricorn, this person, it's they're really going to make sure that you feel comfortable with them in this connection and you feel like you are moving forward with them. So there is some energy around movement here. So with a chariot, you could live at a distance from this person or there's just some sort of travel involved. But nonetheless, Capricorn, it looks like whoever was withdrawn is going to be more outward, more conversating, more showing joy, stability, and happiness for this connection. Or you know what, Capricorn, somebody may have been hiding that they want to be with you and they may be telling you that this weekend. Because in some instance, the high, um, the high priestess hides stuff, hides, hides um, her secrets. And I do feel like for some of you, Capricorn, somebody is hiding that they really want to be with you and they may be, be telling you that this weekend. For single, single, single Capricorns, I definitely feel like somebody that you once dated or once were with is going to come out of the shadows to talk to you. They've been really not in your energy and now they are coming towards your energy. This is a reading of somebody that it was withdrawn, whether physically or emotionally or just mentally, now becoming more engaged in the connection. So that's why I feel like it could be any energy. So that's what I have here for you, Capricorn. Definitely could be dealing with a Cancer, a Scorpio, a Pisces, a 
Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have Virgo here. Could be anybody. That's just the energy coming through. But somebody's definitely going to be telling you that they want to be with you this weekend or reassuring you their feelings for you. Perhaps if they have been withdrawn or possibly you were. So that's what I have here for you, Capricorn. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And I'll talk to all of y'all very soon. And next up is we have Aquarius. Hello, my beautiful Aquarius. And let's get your romance angel for this weekend for Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. Spirit for Aquarius for this weekend in their love lives. All right, Aquarius, you have, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. All right, so Aquarius, you may be going through something right now, trying to figure out if you want to open up to someone. You could be figuring out if you want to open up to a new person, a past person, or maybe your current person opening up a bit more. So let's see what the tarot has for you, Aquarius. I'm in Rising Venus. In their love life spirit for Aquarius for this weekend, for May 28th to May 30th. For my beautiful Aquarius. Alright Aquarius, so we have the Tower. We have the Eight of Pentacles and we have the Six of Pentacles. Ooh. All right, so Aquarius, you do have something unexpected coming towards you this weekend. And I feel like somebody is willing to do anything they can to be with you. It looks like somebody is very interested in proving to you something here with this Eight of Pentacles or possibly somebody is very determined into putting a lot of effort into this connection. But there's definitely some sort of unexpected effort you're getting from someone this weekend, which may also help you in deciding to open up your heart. Tower energy definitely could be a Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with this pentacles. We have the six of pentacles as well. So this person is determined to regain balance between this connection. So Aquarius, you could have been dealing with somebody who was giving you the bare minimum. And it looks like they are determined now to prove to you that they are willing to put effort into this connection to see it grow, to see it work. For some of you Aquarius, you may be meeting somebody at work or you may see someone at your job that is unexpected. I don't know why I feel that way. It's just like I'm randomly feeling that. But for most of you Aquarius, it looks like somebody is going to try to put effort into you. Whether this is a new person, a past person, or your current person. And however they're going to put this effort in is going to be shocking to you. So I feel like you're just not expecting the way that this person is going to prove to you that they care. Or just prove to you that they're good enough for you to open up their your heart to. So very interesting here, Aquarius. I definitely do feel like... Somebody is determined to see this connection grow. Determined to rebuild this connection as well. Because I do feel like for a lot of you Aquarius, this is somebody that you already know. They definitely may have done a little bit of things that they shouldn't have done. Or maybe it was at a big level. Maybe it wasn't. But they are determined to prove to you they are not like that anymore. So they're going to try... And you have your decision on opening up if you decide that. So that's what I have here for you, Aquarius. Definitely an unexpected moment here for you. And for a lot of you, you definitely could be meeting someone at work. If this is a newer energy. Or maybe a past person shows up to your job and you're like, oh my gosh, what the heck is going on here? So that's what I have here for you, Aquarius. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And I'll talk to all of y'all very soon. And last but very much not least is my beautiful Pisces. Hello, my fellow fishes, my Pisces. Let's get a romance angel out for you, Pisces, for this weekend. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sign, Spirit, and their love lives. For my beautiful Pisces. Hold on, Pisces. We got cards falling. Okay. Sphere for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for this weekend in their love lives. 
Pisces, you have stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. All right, so Cancer also got this card. Could it be dealing with a Cancer? doesn't have to be. It's just the energy. But staying optimistic about your love life. Looking at the glass half full opposed to half empty. Looking at the bright side of things opposed to the dark side of things. Staying positive, having faith in yourself. As well as having faith in yourself, attracting love your way. So... Spirit for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs in their love lives for Pisces. What is coming their way, Spirit, for this weekend for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. All right, here we go, Pisces. So we have the Six of Cups. We have the Two of Swords. And we have the Queen of Swords. All right, Pisces, so somebody is missing you here with the Six of Cups. Somebody is really missing your energy. They really feel very sweet towards you, very caring towards you, and it definitely looks like somebody is in a position of showing you how much they care or just showing you how much that they love you. But I don't know what you're going through here because you kind of look uncertain. And you look a bit detached emotionally, Pisces. So with this two of swords, I definitely feel like for a lot of my Pisces, you are in a position of trying to figure out if you want to open up your heart. And I'm not really sure most of you are feeling confident about doing that. And it's funny because, you know, I'm a Pisces as well. People always look at us Pisces as being so emotional, so vulnerable, so sensitive. But when it really comes down to it, we hold them a lot more, a lot well, a lot more well. That's not even how you say it. Um, we hold the emotions a lot better than people think we do. And that looks like what you're doing here, Pisces. So it looks like somebody misses you. I'm not sure how much you miss them. Or somebody is going to tell you that they care for you, tell you that they are loving you and missing you but I don't know you don't really seem you look open queen of swords you look open to hear them out you look open to talk but you don't look fully I don't want to say the word interested you don't look fully ready to let this person in so for a lot of you Pisces, this could be a past person that is going to tell you that they miss you this weekend and you're kind of just like, whoa, what the heck do I do? I've been working on me. I've been trying to move on. For others of you Pisces, your person, if there was challenge or conflict with them, it looks like they're going to start to be a lot more caring or they're going to try to show you that they love you, try to be sweet, try to be nurturing, but I don't know if... It's too late here. You look like you're engaged in their energy, but you don't look openly emotional with them anymore. Maybe you were in the past. Maybe you, you don't look like you are now. Yeah, that's what I got. So either Pisces, your person is going to be acting a lot more sweet towards you and you're kind of just like uh, a little too late maybe or I'm not sure how I want to navigate this. And same thing for a past person. Somebody misses you Pisces. They definitely are coming back around here. But you may just be like really? I'm not sure about that. For some of you you could be meeting a new past life connection. But you still have the energy of uncertainty. You still have the energy of not feeling 110% ready just yet. But there, I do have a feeling here that you know what you want. You just don't want to make the wrong decision. But I do see you finding the confidence, the clarity to make the decision by the end of the weekend of what you want to do with this person's energy who is going to really show you that they care, they love, and they want this connection. Or possibly 
that they miss you and they want this and they never got over you, whatever. It's going to be different for a lot of you. But Six of Cups here, Scorpio energy could be water fully with Cancer and Pisces. I also have Two of Swords, Queen of Swords, which is Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. So that's what I have here for you, Pisces. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And thank you everyone for being here and for watching. I hope you all have a great weekend. I am closed for private readings. Um, but if you want to book when I am open, you can send me an email and I'll let you know when I open again. And June readings will go out. I know I did not finish the mid months. Um, a lot happened. My uncle passed. Uh, my father is losing his battle to cancer. So a lot's been going on here. And yeah, so I apologize for the four zodiac signs. I didn't get a mid month June for you will be the first that get I'm sorry, a mid-month May 4, you'll be the first to get a June reading. So thank you so much for all of you for being here. Please don't forget to like this video. And I'll talk to all of y'all very soon. Hit the subscribe button and ring that bell so you're on top of my releases. Bye now.